My name is Jeffrey. I'm the founder and CEO of Puyi Optical. I'm now in Science Vision Center by Puyi Optical in Hong Kong. Since the beginning of my career, I have always had a strong passion in luxury. I saw great potential and opportunity in the eyewear market, which I was keen to make a profound impact on. 20 years ago, I founded my company and opened its first shop. Since then, Puyi has continued to pursue excellence as a luxury eyewear retailer. Reflecting the past 20 years, my biggest challenge was the way of how we can change people's perception on eyewear. I wanted to change people's mind, to see eyewear not solely as necessity, but also a fine and professional accessory. I also needed to increase market awareness of vision health and its importance. Over time, we were able to achieve what we set out to do. In our constant pursuit of perfection, Puyi eventually became recognized for creating a new standard of vision care in the market. Our customers expect nothing less than perfection and still hold ourselves accountable to them. Precision and perfection are equally important to me. For example, my eyesight is actually very poor. I have an extreme high myopia prescription. Precision in eye examination and prescription is fundamentally important. I'm a person who is very meticulous in every single detail in my life. That's why I kept challenging myself and my team every day to improve on a very stiff curve. Even though my customers may not notice the change in every single detail, but they can certainly feel our pursuit of perfection in their shopping experience. To build a professional image for an optical retailer, I needed the best and the most advanced eye examination technology, and I needed to provide the best training and education for my staff. As for the product itself, I needed to convey its complexity to the customers, such that its value could really be appreciated. I think the biggest factor is knowing how to react to your mistakes. Many people can be persevered, but not many know how to extract insight from their failures. Customers demand a lot in this industry, and the smallest imperfections can detract from the experience. I think the biggest challenge laying ahead is how we continuously improve or put in a way how to keep creating breakthroughs in our industry. Our customers are very sophisticated. They are also changing rapidly. COVID-19 has transformed the world and has accelerated many pre-existing changes, which necessitated quick reaction from me and my team. There is certainly a challenge in staying aware of market changes such that we can prepare and react. I'm always thinking about the future, foreseeing market conditions such that we can move before the market and respond accordingly. We traditionally see glasses as a way to combat reflective errors such as myopia or age-related degeneration. But because of technology, they can do so much more. They can protect our eyes from harmful light or further degeneration. They can be modified to be used in certain environments such as indoors versus outdoors. What surprised me was how eyewear aesthetic has been impacted by technology. Through the next decade, we hope to lead the market in creating more awareness on vision care. We believe there is a lot of room to improve the optical market in Greater China. Currently, as little as 3% of the market in China uses progressive lenses. We want to make sure that the best eyewear technology can reach Chinese customers to improve their lives. There is also an issue of myopia control among young generations, with around 50.2% of youth in China being nearsighted. We want to make sure that these people can not only receive proper eye care, but also be educated about its importance. We are also putting much of our focus on social impact and responsibility. For example, this year, we partnered with SIZE to roll out a charity program with free lunch to support rural primary school students in Hunan province with eye exam and eye health checking. This is one of many initiatives we will have over the coming years. Puyi has the capacity to help the world in many ways. We are very aware of our current impact and our potential, and we will be doing the best we can over the coming years.